Hi friends, today I am going to discuss about tab command and the multi band references of the tab command. First of all, we make a sketch. Then we use a tab command. In the first go, we use the base feature of the tab command. We select the section and it will automatically pick the thickness, required thickness as we define in the <coughs> references of the sheet metal. Now it's giving a section for scanry option. Scanry option is open after the base com base tab tab is made. So we select the scanry section. We select the plane. We select the vector, and we select the origin. Make a make a rectangle to the corner of the old tab. So it will automatically make a new tab around the old tab this is a secondary section of the tab now we increase the thickness 30 it will automatically up, uh, update the secondary tab as well so now we want to check the multi band references of the base tab so for that we select first of all this face we select plane then enter a new head set we select this plane then for a select curve we select sex section sketch section we select this face and we opposite the direction in order to make our uh, multi band uh, multi band references to the downward direction for vector we select this vector for a point we select this point To close the section so we make a loop like this and we finish the sketch and it will automatically create the multi-band references for a tab feature you can increase the value of the length thickness So that the, it will increase the thickness of the <coughs> multi band references. So that's so all the three features of the tab command that is base, secondary, and multi band references can be done. this is a normal flange command and if we check the normal flange we select the edge of the tab bar and give the option from both ends and we give the distance of 5 5 from both the ends 
So length reference we can take from inside 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 edge of the cutting inside a cutting edge from inside cutting edge to the outside of the bend in the length reference outside we we are taking the length reference from outside cutting edge from the outside cutting edges to the end cutting edges bev is a normal length reference material inside material is taken from a material is taken inside the cutting edge material is taken outside the cutting edge whereas in bend outside it's totally outside the cutting edge then we have the option of match face in which we have select this plane until selected this plane to select the end face match this plane so that the this play this face matches this plane and this option is provided to this uh, this is this option is basically for the reason if we have some other part and uh, we uh, we want to match the face of this flange to that part then we can use match face command next is the base contour command in ba basically in the base contour we select a sketch or we make a sketch inside the contour flange command selecting a base option and uh, there are two options in width option finite width in which we give one side symmetric width in which we give the both we give the single width for the both sides then we make a tab simple tab and then we make a contour flange scantry contour flange basically we select the section curve <coughs> at the end of this and uh, select the arc of this tab and make a section curve so it will select the section curve and in the chain option width option we we select the chain and we select the three edges three outside edges of the tab now here in close corner we have got b cut out as this we have got open option in which the ends are remain remains open in which the end remains open <coughs> close in which the end is closed circular cut out so basically we have got a circular cut out at the end of it u cut out so this is u cut out and this is v cut out here we can change the diameter offset we can change the diameter and offset of the <coughs> close corner also we have provided the meter to the end of this base contour flange command it is 45 degree meter meter corners so basically this is 45 degree from the end
next is also a secondary base command in uh, the difference of this this now in this command the difference is that it is selecting the tangent curves we select the sketch section then we select the chain option and we select only one edge and we select tangent curves here and we select only one edge here it will automatically select the old tangent curves so basically this is for easy uh, to do task when there is complex symmetry whose uh, corners are ten tangential and we want to select them at at once so in that case we can use this tangent curves command next we make the tab again we again make a tab then we make a simple flange thereafter we make a contour flange we select the finite option and as a width option in the width option we select the finite option and we make a section at the end of this curve so <clears throat> we provide a relief of 10 mm depth and width of 10 mm and its type is square also the corner relief we have selected as when we select the base and relief it doesn't trim the corner of the corner of the corner of the faces but when we select when when face in the corner leaf it will trim the corner faces as well <coughs> also we have select mixture in start and starting end point and ending ending of the contour flange we have selected 45 degree minus 45 degree of mixture from the corner we have in the width option we have got symmetric option in which uh, the uh, flange is made symmetric to the curve section we have got two end option in which the flange is made to the end of the edge selected to to the end of the to the end of the edge <coughs> where the section curve is made in option we have already discussed so that's how the flange and the contour flange commands works so basically these are the special features of contour flange commands and the flange command next is uh, lofted flange and the normal cutout command so basically for that we make a tab first with 3 mm thickness and then we make a sketch this sketch is on this side this side of the uh, edge of the tab so basically we make a sketch like this again we make a sketch again we make a other sketch like this on other side of the tab like this now we use the lofted flange command first of all we use the first curve as a start section then we use the end section as a other curve we give the thickness as 14 millimeter and we give the thickness as 14 millimeter and the bend radius as 8 millimeter which is this one so that's how the lofted flange normal command works this is the secondary lofted flange command this option is given at the starting of the command when we use the command then these two base and secondary options are given so this is the secondary section of the lofted flange command same we use start section as this curve 
and end section as this curl. So, but the scandis uh, lofted command do it combines the two of the flanges together. Whereas the base command it doesn't combine, it doesn't combine any of the commands together. So basically, uh, the secondary lofted command combines the two flanges together. We give the band radius of twenty millimeter. We can change the band radius as well. So we change the band radius as fifteen or twenty. So we change it to the fifteen. So that so the secondary lofted flange commands works. Now again we make a sketch on this plane as a rectangle sketch. Now we use the normal cutout command which is over this in the base section of the sheet metal commands. So we use the normal cutout command. We select the curve here. Then the we have got three methods thickness, mid mid plane and nearest face. Thickness method will change according to thickness. This will change according to the mid plane, and this will change according to the nearest face. Whatever the nearest face is there to this face, it will change accordingly. So it will it normally creates the cutout in the flange. So that's how the normal cutout command works. You can also use the three D curves for this command in order to make a normal cutout. Please do like and subscribe to my channel. Self study mechanical techniques to succeed and press the bell icon. Thank you.